Hey guys, my name is Paige from My Swim Pro, and today I'm going to talk about some of the essential items that you need to swim as a beginner or novice. So everything you need to get started in swimming. You'll notice I'm here at the pool. I've got my one-piece swimsuit on. I love this swimsuit because it's 100% polyester and it's made for competitive swimming. So it is not a technical racing suit. It's also not a loungewear bikini or, or beach swimsuit. This swimsuit is a fit, a fixed back, so you can tell it's tight. It also doesn't have any padding in the cup that will drag in the water as you swim. It's made to help you be more streamlined in the water. So whatever swimsuit you pick out, you just wanna make sure that it's comfortable it's not going to move around or, or get undone. For the guys out there, you can have a jammer or a brief option. It's up to you as long as it's form fitting and it moves through the water well and it's tight and it will not drag in the water. You'll also notice I'm wearing my cap and goggles today. Highly recommend that you wear these when you're swimming. The main purpose is that your swim cap is going to keep your hair out of your face as you swim so that you don't have to lift your head up with hair all in your face and you can move your body freely and do any exercise without even thinking about your hair. They're really helpful for also protecting your hair from chlorine damage or sun damage if you're outside. This type is a silicone swim cap. Um, there are different types. There's like silicone, latex, fabric. The silicone is the best in my, in my opinion. It's very smooth and it glides on your head easily and it will stay on better and it's thicker to prevent uh, the water from damaging your hair as much. Your hair is going to get wet. There isn't really a way to protect your hair from keeping it dry, but the silicone caps do a great job. I'm wearing it with the line straight down the middle of my head. I've got it pulled over about half of my ears. It's not all the way covering my eyebrows. It's about in the middle of my forehead. And before I put my swim cap on, I put my hair in a high bun. So it's on the crown of my head right here. Sometimes if you wear your hair too low, the swim cap is going to be, get dragged down from a bun that's down at the bottom of your neck. I'm also wearing swim goggles on top of my swim cap. I'm pulling them up right above the bun on my hair so that this is the uh, widest part of my head so it stays put, it doesn't move. I like wearing it on top of my cap so that I can pull it down. I can adjust my goggles. I can adjust the straps. It might feel a little uncomfortable, but you're gonna want your goggles as tight as you can so that it doesn't, you know, they don't fall off if you, as you swim. They will probably get foggy, um, but you might get water in them. They might get a little foggy. That's okay, that's totally normal. Just when you come to the wall, you can wipe out your goggles in between uh, sets. Find the right pair of goggles that works for you. These ones are pretty thin. They're dark tinted because we're outside today in the sun, so I'm gonna protect my eyes from the sun damage. They're perfect for competitive swimming. They're not covering my nose. They're not covering too much of my face. There's different types of goggles for different types of pools. Sometimes indoors, you wanna get the clear ones. If you're swimming in open water, like a lake or an ocean, you might want to swim with bigger goggles that have better visibility. My last tip for all swimmers is to swim with the My Swim Pro app. So I've got the MySwim Pro app on my Apple Watch here. This is the Apple Watch Series 3. It's 100% waterproof. I have the app loaded on my watch so that when I show up to the pool, I can load a workout right on my wrist. It'll guide me through the workout. It will tell me each drill and technique focus that I need to do. And each set is personalized to my speed and my ability so that I know when I show up to the pool, I don't have to think about what I'm doing. It's all on my wrist. It's also going to track all my analytics so that I can have my, my distance, my heart rate, my average speed, and it'll even get really detailed with the number of strokes you take per lap. So you can tell how efficient you're swimming each lap. So I've got the work on my watch. I also don't need a watch. I can do it on my phone. I can print it off. But today I'm going to go for a swim with my watch and we're going to finish our uh, personalized training plan. So let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment uh, down below. Uh, happy swimming and we wish you the best of luck.